Okay, we're going to go to gmetrics.net, choose the Photoshop course, because that's what we're doing. And if you're done with all five domains, you're going to click on the glossary. Now, glossary has all the terms that you'll need to know um, for the certification test. So let's click on terms up at the top. It highlights all of them. That way you can go through all of these things. Now, there's a couple ways to study this. The memory game is kind of fun, and I want you to do this a few times. If you go easy or uh, medium, it's going to give you, you know, looks like 16. But it, it's actually only eight turns because you're mashing. So I click on the first one, and then let's see. The process of editing an image, that is not a raster. Okay. Okay, those don't match. Okay, let's see if this one matches raster. Hey, there it is. So a raster is an image created by a pattern of closely spaced rows of pixels. Okay. So you'll go through, do this a few times. It'll give you different terms each time um, as it pulls from this list. Now, the other thing you're going to do is do the quiz. Okay, a panel featuring a quick way to add a specific type of layer that adjusts features like brightness, contrast, color. Okay, it's not a vector, that's a type of file. Adjustment panel is a panel. Rasterize is an action. Repetition is an idea. So your only option is adjustment panel. Okay, and we go to the next one. The justification in a composition of an object or text. Okay. So is it alignment? Possibly. Um, hex color doesn't make sense. Color theory is an idea. That doesn't make sense. Proximity and alignment are the only ones that are really possible here. So if I'm talking about where in a composition an object or text is, that's going to be alignment. And I go next. OK, so you're going to go through the quiz and go through the memory game a few times. And that's what you're doing today as a review.